We're also talking UFC with the Aussie heavyweight known as the Hulk. Stick around. Yeah, what about that? The countdown is on to this Sunday, but something a little further down the track uh, also worth getting excited about is so are the Hulk Pulele's return to the Octagon for the Battle of the Giant showdown with UFC title challenger Antonio Silva. It's on August 1 in Rio de Janeiro and uh, so uh, joins us now. Great to see you. Uh, so excited uh, you must be for this fight. It was just announced a few days ago and uh, for you it doesn't get much bigger than this, does it? Well, first of all, thanks for having me on and uh, yeah, it's a big fight. Looking forward to it, August the 1st, uh, USC 190 in, uh, in Rio against Bigfoot. So the Hulk versus Bigfoot, it's going to be good. It certainly will be. Uh, your opponent, this will be the, the most high profile opponent you've ever fought against. Yep. But his recent track record it hasn't been great, has it? Yeah, well, he, I mean, he's fought against uh, Mark Hunt and, and then he's uh, went for the title as well, UFC title, but uh, unsuccessful. But, you know, he's a, he's a challenger and he's, uh, you know, he comes and he brings it every fight. So uh, I'll be looking to, you know, just be able to knock out. Someone's going to get knocked out in this fight. Someone's going to get knocked out. It's yeah. not going to be you, is yeah. it? <laughs> I mean, you're a scary opponent for anyone, but, but this guy's, uh, he's pretty, probably even scarier, do you think? Well, no one's more scary than the Hulk. Have you you're not seen the Avengers? <laughs> <That's true. laughs> yeah, so it's it's going to be tough, you know. So, uh, but I'm going to be prepared for it, and uh, yeah, and going to go walk in there and represent Australia. Well, Antonio Silva, uh, he said he's not ready to hang up the gloves just yet, but uh, there's a good chance you could be the man to knock him into retirement. Yeah, well, you know, um, you know, he's he's on a bit of a downslide at the moment, so you know, I'm I'm, I'm coming in there, and uh, you know, I'm feeling good, so that's uh, the good thing about it. Would you want to knock him into retirement? I don't want to really put anyone into retirement, but uh, you know, this is the sport that we're at. It's a business, and um, you know, we we got to earn our paychecks. Uh, you mentioned Mark Hunt before. Uh, he, he's fought against uh, Silva. Mm. He's a sparring partner of yours. Have you do you talk to him ahead of this fight? Do you get any advice off him? Absolutely. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Mark Mark Hunt when he was going through the K1 and stuff like that. But uh, you know. Uh, he always gives me advice, and and uh, and I and I take it on board, and uh, you know I'll be watching his tapes, and my my team will be watching his his tapes and every move and, and stuff like that as well. So, winning this fight on August one, what would it mean for you going forward? Oh, huge, uh, massive, uh, not only for me but uh, for my uh, for the whole of Australia as well. Mm -hmm. You know, to to especially in in Brazil because Brazil is very very proud in in, in their mixed martial arts and, and UFC. So, yeah, you haven't massive. fought in Brazil before, have you? Uh, I only wrestled in Brazil. Wrestled, uh, yep. against, uh, I remember doing that in 2001 against Roy Nelson, but it was just a wrestling match. So. What do you know about the Brazilian fans? Oh, you, they're massive. They're, yeah. If you've seen their soccer, it's, it's yeah. even like 10 times worse. And what does this mean for you in terms of rankings and, and future opponents going forward? Uh, hopefully, oh, you know, put me into the top 15 and, and I want to get the top 10 and hopefully one day get uh, in the near future get uh, that, that title um, challenge. It's also worth mentioning uh, that this event it is headlined by Ronda Rousey, who's the, the best in the business when it comes to women. Do you have much to do with the female fighters? Do you know Ronda? Do you uh, do you sort of interact much with with the girls? It's only when we're at events, and then we you know we get to talk to a lot of the fighters and that. But uh, having Ronda on the card, mate, you know she's she's on a you know massive uh, you know incline with her, with the movies and, and stuff like that. So it's a great privilege to be fighting on the same card as her. You're in movies as well, aren't you? Yeah, we've got a, a couple of movies coming out. Uh, yeah. so, uh, Zombie Ninjas versus Black Ops <laughs> and uh, Football Breakers. It's coming out soon. So. Yeah, you've got a lot yeah. going on, don't you? Yeah. It's exciting. That's and of good. course, uh, you can also uh, catch yourself, The Hulk, on this week's edition of UFC Fight Week. Uh, it is a new show on Fox Sports. It's hosted by Tara Rushton. And it's on a Thursday from 9 p.m. on uh, Fox Sports 4. We appreciate you uh, coming on. We look forward to seeing more of you on Fight Week. Cool. Thank you. Good